What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Structure. I'm H. This is E. What up, what up? And we break down your favorite TV shows, movies, and documentaries. That's right. Today, we're doing a special edition on Foundation. We've got some new updates we wanted to speak to our Foundation family about. Without further ado, H, let's get on Structure. Let's go. Here on Structure, we love Foundation. We know you guys love it too. We had a great time when we started the channel actually reviewing Foundation. Exactly. So we're very excited to hear this news that a couple of weeks ago, Apple released an update that they're filming. They're looking to release uh, the new season later down in the year, maybe the fall, hopefully around the same time. Yeah, I can't wait for the season or for the series to continue because there was a lot of unanswered questions. There is. Uh, yes, and that needs to be addressed. And so, yes, please get it started. Uh, like, let's start the spring, please. <laughs> not the spring. I want, well, yeah, I know. It's not yeah. happening this spring. Uh, but, well, that would be great. But if, it, if you want to send us a copy, go ahead. <laughs> that, Apple, an advanced copy of the season. Hey, we'll get ahead. We love it. Yeah. Anyway, so um, no, like last season ended with having uh, the main character be looks like a, a time skip in the future. That's right. And the show actually released an image of what uh, they're doing for season two. And uh, we're gonna cue it on the screen, and it looks like on this image we have three characters. We have Brother Day, from what it looks like. That's right. We have Harry Seldon, and we have Demersel. All yeah. of them in the scene, and it seems like an argument is ensuing. What do you think of that image? Uh, blouses win. That's <laughs> <laughs> Based on last season, blouses always win. Exactly. <laughs> Shout exactly. out to Dave Chappelle and yes. Prince. So the, it, we don't know whether this is, is still in the future or whether this is a throwback. Uh, kudos to Apple to really keeping it ambiguous and not giving us anything more than this image. Uh, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. In this case, uh, maybe like 500. I don't know. Looks like Brother Day is blaming Harry for something. You know, he's going to blame somebody else. Yeah. This I wonder if this is going to be the, the Brother Don that we're used to uh, from the series Yeah. being now Brother Day, or if this is a many generations in the future, because we know exactly that, that our main characters are in the future, uh, at least when the show ended. So that's going to be very interesting to see. Now, alongside this image, they release... So new casting news. They have some new characters that join the series. Some familiar faces are joining the series. That's right. There's about ten. It was ten. New, yeah. Yeah. New characters. Uh, starting off with Isabella Laughlin and Laughlin, uh, as a brother constant, a cheerful confidant cleric whose job is to evangelize the Church of the Galactic Spirit across the outer reach. So this is going to be very, very interesting to see how she uh, plays this role. But we're excited to see her in the Foundation family. I believe she's uh, been part of the Harry Potter series of movies. If I'm not mistaken, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, then we also have Colvinder Gurr as Polly Verisov, a high cleric of the Church of the Galactic Spirit. With smart and sardonic, he's also a terrible drunk. Intelligent enough to see the, uh, the path he's on but too cynical to change like a lot of people that we know in our lives. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he might be yeah, an a interesting character to say the least. He's going to add a lot least. of co color to the, uh, to the show for sure. Uh, next we have Sarah Yi Sensen Diver as in Joyner Rue, the beautiful and politically savvy consigliere. Uh, to the queen, so she has a lot of she has a lot of power. She's she gonna has be a lot, very yeah. well connected. Exactly, to say the least. she can wield a lot of power yeah, there. She, so we'll gonna see be, what happens. She's gonna be a dealer, probably of information. Somebody that has some influence, even on Cleon. Now the next character or the next casting, I'm very familiar with her from the show Into the Badlands. If you guys not seen that show, if you love martial arts, it's on Netflix. Great show. If I'm not mistaken, I was part of one of uh, AMC's shows. I completely love that show, and she played a really cool character there. That's Ella Ray Smith as Queen Sarit of Cloud Dominion. Used to being un underestimated, Sarit employs uh, it plays to her advantage, charming her way into, into the Imperial Palace with a fighting with all one on secret quest for revenge. So she's going to be looking to do some harm to our uh, our character that we love here, to Brother Dave or Don. For, for the looks of it. Yeah. We're playing an, a, an antagonist to them. And next we have Dimitri Leonidas as Homer Malo. 
uh, a master trader with a sarcastic personality and questionable morals. I mean, because if you're a businessman, why not have questionable morals? This this goes along with the character, I think. Uh, he gets uh, summoned against his will to serve a, a higher uh, selfless cause. Okay. I mean, the next gentleman, he's being on quite a few things. Uh, ben Daniels as Bell Royce. The last great general of the super liminal fleet and would be conqueror of the foundation. So it looks like this guy is gonna be taking over uh, the foundation uh, since we don't have the the. Uh, That's right because we don't have Leah Harvey holding down the thing. Exactly, she left, so the terminus is without a um, warden. So uh, we'll see how he runs things. Maybe he runs it with the iron fist. Who knows? Next we have Holt. McCallany as Warden Jägerfound, the current warden of Terminus, a, a guardian against the citizens, excuse me, guarding and fortified citizens against external threats. So it looks like uh, McCallany or Ward, Warden Jägerfound is going to be the one encountering Bell Royce's character. So I wonder what the encounter is, or maybe this is the person assigned under Bell Royce. That's going to be interesting, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe it's going to be peaceful. Maybe it won't. Uh, it, it will be interesting. We will watch. Also, we have Rachel House uh, as Talon Bond, a mysterious leader of the Mentalics. Yes, we also have Michael Presbrand as the warlord of Calgan, a monster of a man coiled with muscle and po possessing powerful psychic abilities and fueled by hate in his quest to take over the galaxy. So this guy may be our main antagonist for the season. Okay. Someone who's muscle bound, psychic powers, might as well be Superman. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think uh, this, there may be a connection between Rachel House's character okay. and this particular guy since uh, they were talking about mentalics and people with mental powers. This is going to be interesting. They're going to, we're definitely going even more sci fi than before with these new characters. And lastly, we have Nimret uh, Kerr as Yana Selden. So this is interesting because. No much description about exactly. her. Exactly. They, they kept she her very mysterious. Yes. And so I think that she's going to be a major player in this new series coming up so we'll see how it goes down i'm looking forward to this new casting i'm looking forward for the sh to the show dropping this uh this uh fall i guess or some point this year that's gonna be exciting i do hope it doesn't get any delays because i've been you know waiting to sink my teeth in some more foundation it's my favorite show of last year so looking forward to that i can't wait uh hey serious note Apple, if you want to send us the, an advanced copy or whatever, send us some codes, I'll be down for that. Until then, I'm E, this is H, and we are... Unstructured. There you go.